everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you my favorites for the month of September. I have several products here and, and a couple of things that's been going on with our family that I'd love to share with you guys. But first of all, I'd like to welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers who took that chance and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate you guys coming over here. I know Kathleen from her channel, What a Show About Everything. I'll link her channel down below and I do hope that you go over there and check her out and subscribe because her videos are really nice. There's a group of people that talk about exercise and diet and home decorating and shopping and it's really a fun channel. So you guys, I hope you check their channel out but she brought some new subscribers over here and I just want to say thank you and I want to do the same for her. I hope you guys again check her out. I'll link her channel down below for you guys. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to my channel. All right, let's go ahead and start. Of course, it wouldn't be a favorites video in the month of September without the Emily Edit palettes. It's by Makeup Revolution, and they collaborated with a wonderful YouTuber, Emily Noel 83 and I'll link her channel down below. These palettes are called the Emily Edit, the Needs, and the Wants. When I watch her reviews, I mean, she gives an honest opinion and I trust her opinion. So I'm writing down notes, ooh, I need to try that one, ooh, okay, let me check that one out, you know? But when she came out with these palettes, I knew that they were going to be wonderful, so I got them. First, let's talk about the wants. It is an eyeshadow palette, all eyeshadows. It has a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I mean, I'm sure you have seen this all over YouTube, so I won't go too much into it. I really do like the shades, the colors that she picked. I like the pigmentation. They blend out very well. It's what I'm wearing right now on my lids. Let me just quickly show you the colors that I used. I used Midwest, Laugh Cry, Cheer, and on my lids I used Top Story and Capricorn, these two metallic shades here. And for Dimension, I used this one right here, Apartment. I do like the names that she chose for the shades. They are pretty much a reflection of her and her life. And another thing, I did a video, you know, a little tutorial with these two palettes, and I mentioned this in that video, but I love the size of the font for the shadow names. I mean, you can see them, at least for me, you can see them without glasses. And it does have a nice size mirror in this palette that you're seeing reflections of everything in this room. <laughs> And here is the Needs palette. It's a little bit smaller than the Wants, but this palette, it is a full face. All you need is this, hence the name Needs, because you have your bronzer, your blush, your highlighter, your powder, and six shadows. Now granted, I haven't used these shadows because I prefer the, the Wants shadows. And what I have on today is the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. And it's looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. I was a little worried about the bronzer, it might be a little bit too light for me, but it's working out well. I think it is for me. It also has a nice size mirror in this palette and also with the names. I love the names that she chose with this one. Courage, joy, gratitude, kindness. I mean, it does reflect her. The Wants palette costs $20 and the Needs palette costs $15. So it's a really good price point and I've been really enjoying these palettes. So both of these have been my favorites for the month of September and will continue to do so. Another eyeshadow palette that I've been enjoying is by KKW Beauty. This is the Classic Collection palette. Here it is right here. More of a peachy bronzy shade. Now I do not watch the Kardashians and I have no need to, no desire to watch the show, but her eyeshadow palettes and her lipsticks that I'll show in just a minute the formula is really nice. It has great big pigmentation. It blends out very nice. Probably the only shadow that I'm having problems with is this dark one right here. This one did take a while to build up, but every other shadows I really do like. And I mean, some people will look at this shadow and say it's kind of boring. You know, it's been overdone, the warm shades, but this is the color that I'm drawn to and I really do like the formula with it. This palette costs $45 and you do get 10 shades, I believe one, two, three metallics, which are the names of her kids, which I think is kind of cute, and the rest are um, mattes. I did not get the new one that she came out with, I believe it's called the Classic Cherry palette. It's more pink for me and it's not what I'm drawn to, so I will not get that one, or the lipsticks. Now let me show you a couple of lipsticks that I've been really enjoying by KKW Beauty. I did a video with the KKW Beauty, the classic collection. I'll link that one down below. 
but in that video my son was in it and during the lipstick part of that video he was you know backstage right here backstage and he was letting me know which shade he liked better in the lipstick so it was just kind of fun he was home from college and he he really enjoyed doing it but the two shades that I really do like is peach 3 and peach 4 and what I'm wearing right now is peach 3 and also let me go ahead and mention the lip liner this is in peach 4 so whenever I group these together, I really do like the combo. I, I do like the orange, coral, burnt red type of colors on my skin tone. Now the lipsticks cost $18 and the lip liner cost $12. These are not long lasting. I have to say that. These last, you know, for a good three to four hours if you're not eating or drinking or whatnot. But they are very creamy. And I like how it's not settling in my uh, wrinkles. Oof. You know what, let me swatch these for you. Here's the lip liner, it is peach 4, and then you have the lipstick peach 3 and peach 4. But they are very creamy and smooth and not tacky on my lips, none whatsoever. And the lip liner too, it just glides on my lips really nice without breaking and tugging on my lips. Very nice, a big plus. I know some may not like the Kardashians, which is fine, which is fine, but I don't watch her show again, but I really do like her products. Let's go ahead and stay in the lip family here. This is by Algenis. This is the Liquid Collagen Lip. I bought this in the Sephora sale last month. A subscriber mentioned this and I wanted to try it. So I got it during the sale and you know what? I am seeing a little bit of a difference here. And excuse the applicator, it is kind of dirty, but it comes like this. Real neat shape that will contour your lip and you just twist it once and that's all the product you need. It's just a very tiny amount. And when I put it on my lips, it has a cooling sensation. You don't feel, at least for me, I don't feel the, the harsh needles you get with some lip plumpers. Lip plumpers? <laughs> and it's not tacky at all. It stays moist on my lips for a good couple of hours before I put lipstick on, of course. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm seeing something different in my lips, and I really do like what I see. This costs $35, and you get 10 mils in here. I think that's what it says. Yes, 10 mils. <laughs> I have been seeing a difference in my lips since I started using this, so thank you, Clara. Thank you so much for mentioning this. Next, toothpaste. I never thought I'd be talking about toothpaste here, but it has been our favorite for the month of September. Here it is right here, it's by Marvis, and this was in my Beauty Fix subscription box, I believe, for August, in August. And when I opened up the box, you know, I looked at it, it's like, oh, okay, toothpaste. I'll try it, you know, because we are a crest. Get it from Walmart, you know, get it on sale, two, three dollars. But when we tried this, we were really impressed by it. We were really impressed by it. The texture is very nice, and the mint flavor in this one. This is called Whitening Mint. The flavor, it stayed a while in our mouth, and I was really surprised. It's not a very strong mint flavor either. It's, it's just a nice mint flavor. So also in the Sephora sale last month, I did pick up a kit. It had seven of them in the size 1.3 ounce. So here's one, the Whitening Mint, and here's another one that we're fin finishing up. It's Jasmine Mint, which is really nice. And you know what? Let me tell you what other flavors are in that kit. You have Classic Strong Mint, Whitening Mint, Licorice Mint. I can't wait to try that one. Jasmine Mint, Ginger Mint, Cinnamon Mint, and Aquatic Mint. It's the kit that has seven, that costs $36, but if you buy these separately, for some reason, the Whitening Mint costs more than the other flavors. So this one, you get 1.3 ounce and it costs $7.50, whereas in this in the same size, it costs 6 they have the standard size, which is 3.8, and in this flavor, it costs $13.50, and all the others cost $10.50. So I guess this is their popular one, but we have been really enjoying Toothpaste by Marvis. <laughs> Alright, the last two products here, they're by the same brand, Hourglass, and you have the Veil Translucent Setting Powder and the brush. Now the powder, to me, I really do like how it sits on my face. It doesn't cake me up whatsoever. It doesn't change the color of the foundation. I also like how it dispenses just the right amount of powder that you need. So you turn it upside down and you tap like two, three times and then you open the lid and it just gives you the right amount of powder. 
And I do like that it's in the shape H for Heba. <laughs> I know it's for Hourglass, but hey. This size right here is 0.36 ounce and it costs $46. There is a smaller size, you know, a good travel size. That's 0.07 ounce and it costs $18. So it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I really do like how it wears on me. Now for the brush. It is a little bit of a splurge for me. I didn't think I would get it. But I saw Mary from Glitzy Fritzy on her channel. I saw her talk about this brush, so I had to get it. Okay, you ready for the price? It is $64 for this brush. You do get two different sizes, so you know, you're getting more for your money, but it's still $64 for a brush. This brush is very soft. I am really enjoying how this feels on my face. It just feels so nice. And this size right here is just perfect for underneath the eyes. Just perfect. I really do like this. I set it like this in my drawer so it doesn't really bother me that much that it's not my cup of brushes because you don't want it to be smushed. But I really do like how this feels on my face. It's not harsh whatsoever. Ah, I could do this all day. Just feels so nice. <laughs> All right, those are the products that I've been really enjoying for the month of September. Now I'd like to share with you some things that's been going on with our family. Our son Luke, he is a senior at Texas A&M University and when you're a senior or when you, you know, accumulate a certain amount of hours, you can get your Aggie ring and it seems to be such a big deal down there. So we all went down to A&M and we were able to see him get his ring and put it on his finger and he was just so excited. I'm going to put a little video or pictures of him getting his ring, but it was really exciting seeing his face and just seeing that accomplishment for him. Another thing that has happened to our family, our daughter Christian, I've said this before, she is engaged to a wonderful, wonderful young man and we're just so pleased and just so blessed to have him in our family. They are getting married in May and this month, in the month of September, she said yes to the dress. I won't put a picture of the dress, of course, but it is by the designer Lazaro and it's a beautiful gown. It was down to two dresses and believe me, they were both beautiful, beautiful gowns. She couldn't go wrong with either one of those. But the two that she was choosing from, one of them I did kind of like better. I will give you that. I did kind of like that one better. It was really beautiful. I mean, I wish I could tell you more, but in May I'll be able to show it to you. And when it came time to say yes, to the dress, she picked my favorite, which I can't, there's no words, there's no words. She just looked absolutely beautiful in that gown and it's so fun. I mean, it's so fun planning a wedding. I already have a dress picked out for her wedding. I've worn this dress for another special event and I'm just gonna wear it again. It's a beautiful gown, I really do love it, so why not? <laughs> It saves money. <laughs> but anywho, well those are my favorites for the month of September. Some products and a couple things that's been going on with our family and I'm so glad that I'm sharing it with you guys and I do appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Alright you guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you will have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.